Of course, agriculture is a business, and um, in order to produce goods and services, we need inputs. Now, those inputs are what we term as factors of production. Let us define these two terms before we get into our lesson. So, we have input and output. Now, the factors of production will be your input, and those inputs is what you put together you now or used up to get our output. So, for example, you're going into poultry production. The inputs would be the chicken, the poultry house, for example, uh, feed, equipment, and the output would be the eggs or the meat. Alright, for today's lesson, we'll be looking at two general objectives. One, you should be able to define factors of production, and two, to list and explain factors of production. Factors of production are the inputs that are needed to produce goods and services. So of course, as we said, the factors of production, those are our inputs. The goods and services that are produced, we refer to those as output. Alright, now, there are four factors of production. One, land. Two, labor. Three, capital. And four, management. Or sometimes we refer to that as entrepreneurship. Land, land is the uppermost layer of the earth's surface that is not covered by water. And as you should know, it consists of the soil. So the soil is a part of the land. Uh, what is it used for as an input? It is used to support plant growth. It is used for the erection of buildings. It is also used for the construction of roads. And there are many other uses. Labor. Labor are the people who work in the business or on the farm. Now, there are two main types of labor. One, we have family. Two, we have hired labor. Now, family. This is when close relatives work in the business. So, for example, mother, daughter, son, cousins, etc. Two, hired labor. The hired labor. This is when persons are paid to work in the business or on the farm. Now, there are three main types that we will look at, and I will briefly differentiate among them. One, seasonal. Now, the seasonal worker, that type of worker is contracted to work when, based on time, time of the month. When, for example, a crop is in season, or say, only reap in season. So, for example, Mar March, April, only is reaped in those months. So, producer may employ persons to harvest the honey. Now, when the honey is completely harvested, they will be out of a job until next March or the next honey season. Alright, let's move to contract labor. Now, the contract labor is basically a person employed to work to complete a task. Now, once that task is completed, that worker will be paid. Um, also, they have less benefits where, um, compared to the, to the employee. So, for example, a person of contract employed to a business, that employer may not deduct uh, tax from, from that person. They also may not deduct healthcare benefits, contribution, NHD contribution, etc. Now, the employee, which is the third one, the employee is basically a permanent worker. Now, the employer may provide certain benefits like deduction of tax, um, healthcare benefits, uh, NHT contributions. So that's basically the difference among these. Capital. This is anything. We can talk about anything means input. So this is anything or any input that has a monetary value that are used in the production of goods or services. So in short, it's anything that has a monetary value. So that is capital. So it doesn't necessarily mean um, capital is the money, but it's anything that is used in the production, apart from land and labor, um, that is used in the creation of food. So for example, we have like fertilizers, seeds, machines, equipment, building, etc. Now there are two types of capital. One, fixed capital and two working capital. The fixed capital is basically those types of inputs that does not change are used up in the, uh, in the production process. So for example a building or a poultry house that is used to host um, chickens. The building is not used up 
in the conversion of the chicken. Once those chickens are grown up um, and they are slaughtered, new chickens has to be purchased. Right? But the building, you don't have to purchase the building. The, the building remains fixed or unused. It's not used up in the production. It's not converted in the production of the chickens. All right. On the other hand, the working capital. Working capital, th these are the inputs that change with the level of production. Or they are used up in um, production. So for example, feed. The feed are used to feed chickens, for example. That feed will be converted to meat. Labor. Labor is also considered a working capital. The energy from the person that is used to take care of the animal is going on to the production. And each time you want to each time you want to um, produce chickens, you have to pay the person that is working for that new work. Management or entrepreneurship. Now this involves a person with the technical knowledge or the skill to produce the goods and the service. So this person is very important because if the business is not managed properly or efficiently, that the business might not make a profit. So remember, when a person knows how to operate the business or what are required, then more than likely that person will help the business to achieve a profit. So, for example, a poultry farmer, broiler production farmer, that person that is in charge or that is responsible for management supervision, for example, would need to know about brooding of the chicks. That person also needs to know the size of to use. That person needs to know about sanitation, ventilation, how to design a poultry house for, to provide good ventilation, also slaughtering, evisceration, etc. So, management and entrepreneurship is very important. We are now at the summary of the lesson. Now, definition of the factors of production. Now, factors of production, those are the inputs that are needed to produce goods and services. Now there are four factors of production, land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Land. Now land is the upper mostly of the earth's surface that is not covered by water and of course it includes the soil. Um, land is necessary, very very necessary for construction of buildings, um, for construction of roads, setting up of service poles, etc. Alright, let's move to labor. Now labor, those are the persons that are working in the business or on the farm. Now there are two types that are discussed. You have the family and you have hired labor. Now family, those are workers that are close relatives, such as brother, sister, father, mother, cousins, etc. Um, hired labor, those are the laborers that are paid to do the work. Now there are three types that are mentioned, seasonal, contract, and employee. The seasonal, those workers normally work at a particular time of the year when a crop or something are in season and they will be paid when that task is finished they are not employed after unless the season start, starts over and the employer decided to um, use what this person all right um contract worker now the contract worker carried out a particular task according to the contract now that type of worker is not um catered for in certain areas such as the deduction of tax the employer is not responsible to deduct tax from those type of worker or to put them on a health care or also to deduct NHT contributions. Now unlike the the um, employee the employee is like a more permanent worker and that worker now the employer will normally deduct tax from salary um, of her health care benefits and also um, deduct NHT uh, contributions etc. Right, let's move to capital. Now, capital is anything that has a monetary value. It doesn't mean that capital has to be the money itself, but anything that has a monetary value that is used in the production. Um, for example, you have like seeds, fertilizer, etc. Now there are two main types that were discussed. You have fixed and you have working. Now the fixed capital basically does not change with the level of production. It can be used over and over and each time you're producing you don't have to purchase that type of capital. Now the working capital is what changes with the level of production. So if you rear 200 
Bridal Birds, this this month, we slaughtered them. You want to purchase 200 more for the next season or for the next batch, then you know you have to purchase an additional two. And you have to maybe purchase the feed also for that. But the building you will not purchase the building. Alright? Now let's move to entrepreneurship. So entrepreneurship or management is basically a person with technical knowledge that are able to put together all these four components or inputs to produce goods and service and to a level where um, a profit is, is being made. 